The World Health Organization says compulsive video game playing should be considered a mental health disorder. That's become a hot debate going within the video game industry. Fox 13's Josh Cassio is a gamer. He's in our control room. Josh, what's your take on this? Well, Lloyd, listen, you know, in the five o'clock hour, Dr. Joe pointed out this disorder really only affects one to three percent of the gaming population out there. So we're talking about a fraction of gamers. And the fact that we're even talking about this just goes to show you how popular, how mainstream gaming has become. In fact, today, some of the most well-known people on the planet are gamers. This is my streaming setup. I can wreck. We're behind the scenes in Pasco County. Tell them about Amazon Prime. As Ben Bowman, <laughs> AKA Professor Broman, live streams the game Destiny over the Twitch app. Oh! And we aren't the only ones tuned in, not by a long shot. This is a chance for me to connect with people who have the same passions as I do. Since 2013, he's been a full-time streamer, six to eight hours a day, seven days a week. I am the sole income earner in my household, and I pay for all of this with streaming. Gaming is the largest form of entertainment period. And next month, gaming will take over the Tampa Convention Center with Guardian Con. 10,000 people are expected. The event raises money for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. One of the featured guests, none other than the Fortnite king himself, Tyler Blevins, better known as Ninja. Got him, baby. Yeah. Boom. He is the biggest sports star on social, period. All you need to do is, you know, look at your kid and ask, Hey, do you, like, Ninja's gonna be in Tampa. Would you like to meet them and just watch their face blow up? But along with the rise in popularity of gaming, there's also been problems, including addiction and some say violent behavior. The World Health Organization says compulsive gaming should be considered a mental health condition. It opens the door for additional research. It's very similar to an addiction of any other kind. Researchers say it only affects a small number of people. For others like Bowman, gaming has become more than a good time. Thank you for uh, 34 months of seven. It's a livelihood. And there's definitely a debate as to whether or not too much gaming is really a disorder. In fact, the American Psychiatric Associ Association put out a statement today disagreeing with the WHO, saying it didn't find enough evidence to consider excessive gaming a unique disorder. Now, as for Ninja, if you've never heard of this guy, here's all you need to know. He's making about half a million dollars a month streaming Fortnite online. He is a worldwide superstar, and again, he will be in Tampa at Guardian Con in July. It's July 13th and 14th. Tickets are on sale right now. Lloyd, he back to you. He is a big deal, that's oh, yeah. for sure. Josh, thanks very much. Yep.